हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ड्रॉप अ लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट दिस इज श्री विष्णु आर्ट प्रेस पब्लिकेशन एक्सरसाइज नंबर फाइव एंड सिक्स ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ नाइन्टी वर्ड्स पर मिनट स्टार्ट इट मे बी मैंशन दैट अ रिट पेटिशन अंडर आर्टिकल थर्टी टू ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन was filed by a member of the central administrative tribunal contending that the decision in sp kumar versus union of india and others 1987 scc 124 equated the central administrative tribunal with the high court and therefore its chairman should be equated with the chief justice of a high court and the vice chairman and members must be equated with the sitting judges of the high court in all respects it was also contended that while the chairman have been equated with sitting judges of the high courts the members have not been so equated in their pay and other conditions of service and that a distinction was made in the conditions of service particularly the pay and age of superannuation between the vice chairman and the members which was arbitrary as a result of which the members also should be given the same pay as that of the vice chairman and their age of superannuation should also be the same that is 65 years as that of the vice chairman on interpretation of article 323a of the constitution this court took the view that administrative tribunals constituted there under are distinct from the high courts and dismissed the writ petition the administrative tribunals act 1985 came to be amended by the administrative tribunals act 2006 by the said amendment the post of vice chairman in the administrative tribunal is abolished a new provision that is section 62 is introduced which modifies the qualifications for appointment as administrative member in the tribunal section 10a is inserted in the main act which provides that the conditions of services of the judges of the high court would be applicable only to the members appointed after February 19 2007 the newly inserted section 10a restricts the total term of the members of the administrative tribunals to 10 years though by the said amendment the age of superannuation for a members is raised from 62 to 65 years further section 10a postulates consideration of a case of a member for reappointment by selection committee after february 19 2007 section 12 2 of the administrative tribunals act 1985 is amended and power is conferred on the appropriate government to designate a vice chairman for the purpose of performing certain duties and functions of the chairman the case of the petitioner is that the post of vice chairman 
was in existence in the administrative tribunals since its inception which enabled the judges of various high courts to opt for the central administrative tribunal and provided an opportunity in the nature of promotion to the members of the administrative tribunals to the post of vice chairman according to the petitioner the abolition of the said post now would create anomalous situation in the structure as well as administration of the tribunals if any high court judge is to be appointed only as a member and therefore the abolition of the post of the vice chairman is unconstitutional on an careful reading of the aforesaid paragraphs of the election petition contained in annexure 1 of the writ petition it is clear that election petition contains an adequate statement of all material facts on which the allegations of not only illegality in counting of votes were founded but specific allegations of manipulation and fraud played by returning officer while counting of votes were leveled with material particulars not only this but the petitioner had also adduced voluminous evidence to support the allegations leveled in the election petition in respect of aforesaid illegalities and manipulations in counting of votes by entering himself in witness box and by examining his counting agent the aforesaid version of election petition was also supported by other candidates by filing their affidavits before the election tribunal which clearly established that the petitioner had adduced sufficient evidence affording a good ground for believing that manipulation was done and fraud was played while counting of votes by returning officer therefore in my opinion the only way to decide the dispute and to do complete justice between the parties was order for recounting of votes from the perusal of impugned judgment and order passed by the election tribunal it appears that the statement of petitioner and his agent in respect of manipulation in counting of votes has been rejected without any cogent reason it appears that while dealing with issue the election tribunal under wrong notion of law has illegally assumed that the petitioner was required to prove his allegations made in the election petition beyond reasonable doubt whereas in view of legal position enunciated by honorable apex court and this court from time to time as indicated here in before such standard of proof for inspection of ballot papers for the purpose of recounting of votes is not at all necessary the election petitioner was required merely to adduce such evidence on the basis of which allegations could be prima facie established affording good ground for believing that there has been mistake or illegality or manipulation in counting of votes and further on the basis of such evidence court or tribunal 
withdrawing the election petition could be prima facie satisfied for directing inspection of ballot papers or recounting of votes a distinction between prima facie opinion and concluded opinion was required to be kept in mind but while rejecting the prayer for recount of votes in my opinion the election tribunal has proceeded completely on wrong notion of law and rejected prayer for recount of votes on the ground that the petitioner has failed to prove this case in this connection it is to be noted that when the allegations in the petition were not vague or indefinite or frivolous rather they were very specific in terms and supported by oral evidence adduced before the election tribunal in as much as affidavits of other candidates there was sufficient material before the election tribunal affording good ground to believe that illegality or manipulation was done in counting